Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you.
We are now going to lay symbols of faith on Frank's coffin. We shall put the scriptures and the cross. In life, Frank cherished the gospel of Christ. May Christ now praise him with these words of eternal life. Come, blessed of my father. In baptism, Frank received the sign of the cross. May he now share in Christ's victory over sin and death. As we gather to pray for the soul of our brother Frank, I invite us to call to mind our failures and shortcomings and ask God for pardon and strength. I confess to the Almighty God, and to my brothers and sisters, that I have always faced in me, in my thoughts, in my thoughts, in what I have done. Give us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen.
past reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will prepare for all peoples a banquet of rich food. On this mountain, he will remove the morning veil covering all peoples, and he shut and the shroud enwrapping all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord will wipe away the tears of every cheek, from every cheek. He will take away his people's shame wherever on earth. For the Lord has said to him, that day it will be saved. See, this is our God in whom we hope for salvation. The Lord is the one in whom we hope. We exalt and we rejoice that He has saved us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
glorified. I tell you most solemnly, unless a quit grain falls on the ground and dies, it remains only a single grain. But if it dies, it yields a rich harvest. Anyone who loves his life loses it. Anyone who hates his life in this world will keep it for the eternal life. If a man serves me, he must follow me. Wherever I am, my servant will be there too. If anyone serves me, my father will honor him. Now my soul is troubled. What shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But it is not for this very reason. But it is for this very reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. A voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The Gospel of God. Praise, Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you very much for being here as we send Mass for the happy repose of the soul of our divided brother. I convey my condolences to the immediate family, to Esther, and I think Hina Bumba, the daughter of the deceased, and to you all who have been you know, sharing with him during his life. I am Father Sergio B. Mark Richard, I'm a priest of Kampala's Diocese in Uganda, and I work with the land office. So I'm basically here on holiday. It's a bit of a working holiday. And I'll be returning to Uganda in a few days' time from now. So I was asked to come and preside over this Mass. That's why I am here today. I am based in Lubishan. As I say, we are here to bid farewell to a fallen soldier of Christ who was baptized. That's why we began with these symbols on his coffin. The cross remind us of our baptism because when we are baptized, they make a sign of cross in our foreheads. And the sacred scriptures, the Bible, because we live by God's word. Normally, we should also be placing a white piece of cloth to symbolize that white piece of cloth that we, we wear, again, at baptism. But because the Uganda flag was there, I felt obliged to respect it. I'm sure you have reasons for putting it there. But what is most important is to remember that when we are baptized, we die with Christ. So we already, we already die at a very young age. Because when one, once we embrace Christ, the three times that water is poured onto our foreheads symbolizes the three days that Jesus spent in the tomb. That's the symbolism. So sometimes when you take your children for baptism and hear the priest talking about death, don't be scandalized. That's when death begins. And throughout our lives, eh, we are moving with death, whether we like it or not. So my brothers and sisters, my fellow travelers along with death, I welcome you. I know you don't want to hear that, but that is the truth. Whether you like it or not, we have to. The question is where and when and how. Can I repeat it? Whether you like it or not, we have to. God is simply giving us another chance to prepare ourselves. Some people will be lucky, 
that they will die prepared. Others will be caught off guard. You know our brother died in his sleep. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? But they had a dark. But they had a dark. I don't know. Obviously, they had faith. Okay? But because they had failure, I'm going to 
Abadde akwata obudde abadde ayagaliza abadde wabunanzibwa awo nawo je kubozise ngo kufa ko kukuyambi okuba ko kyotusa otherwise buti jo buziwa no leta ko kyetwinda nange banange je tufa ku bantu na dalabe tuwangala nabo mu maka nina maulire amalunji na gatari malunji mwaka nansoke na galwa Joke na mabi, na wadi ni sima kumsaidi yomo, baga mbwa yeye mukasa, dini yaba madiri ya mukasa, na kula mo banka, yari aina mchala we, echinunji mo no jamuli, tewali bizi bebe, eno mchala na ba na ba satu, 
Nengo mchala ndoza mtanka na mbunga simwe sikuwa. Na asana watu alaba na kudiene e test. Nizaso kubayo, ngazo naziri negative. Mwamsaja na agamba chichen. Echirunji mwabita mbikola, ok? For you, you are ok. Nizabali mizabu yeri. Echad dongo. Mwamsaja na asana watu alaba na kwanga ya nizenyo. Mwamsaja na kuma wo. Na ina ya kaa kwa chii, na chunge mchati ya fila wa. Na hagi na mduwa hivyo kwa wa asawa geza kwa kumuta asa. Esimu na hivyo kwa. Iyo mwame. Aabada kwa esimu kwa hati umchala na kutuka. Kati hapa sawa wali wa kubi. Kwa kumuga mantisewo tusasili. Results zetu wako wa desi zetu wako wa desi zetu wako. Sorry. Haku ge mauli ya mabi. Na malunji mugagala. Omsaji ya liya lota. God, the Almighty Father, raised Christ, his son, from the dead. With confidence, we ask him to save all his people, living and dead. Lord, in your 
wa mkaga miaka mikila madia agena kubiga atori na wakia miyo jari jayo na kuno wale ukuru kukusa kukulani wa wafanya kubiga madia laka waka ukuru hukuru zibuwa hukuru mkwase mbeleza wono na ye amusabile ye Thanks. 
Sarah to be beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt the son to be a loving savior may find in him a merciful God who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. With him, the hope of blessed resurrection has gone. For those saddened by the certainty of dying, might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for a faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. <clears throat> and so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we are playing. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once for giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> Thank you. 
Jesus takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called his fathers.
God who sang the past in the sacrament of his body, food for the judge, must be grant that strengthened by it, our brother Frank Sebagler may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We are going to conclude Mass with the final blessing, after which we shall have the prayers of commendation. And after the prayers of commendation, I will ask the MC to take over to guide us in the putting on the flowers and also the eulogy and everything else that will follow. I thank the choir for leading us. I thank Vanessa and uh, Mr. Mwanya to the first reading. And I thank you all for your roles in this mass of our following brother. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless and protect you, Amen. the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And as it's ended, let us stay in the peace of Christ. We shall stay standing for the next prayers of commendation. Before we go our separate ways, let us, ask, let us take leave of our brother Frank. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death. As I sprinkle the coffin with water, I shall request the choir to lead us in song.
because God has chosen to call our brother Frank from this life to himself. We commit him, we commit his body for burial, for we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory, for he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend our brother Frank Sebadgala to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace him in peace and raise up his body on the last day. He who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. May I now ask the MC to come and tell us. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, we are gathered here today to honor and celebrate the life of our dear brother, a man who brought love, joy, and kindness into our hearts, and to everyone who had the privilege of knowing him. As we come together in this time of deep sorrow, we also find comfort in the memories we shared with him and in the overwhelming support we received from all of you. Thank you so much. <coughs> First, on behalf of our family, the Masada's family, I want to extend our heartfelt gratitude to everyone who has reached out with words of comfort offered a helping hand, or simply been present during this incredibly difficult time. Great thanks. I'm going to mention a few names, but leaving you out doesn't mean you haven't supported. Great thanks to Stanley Sebastian, Richmond, Felix Talala, Joseph Gakwaya, Amadam Nomchara, Hassan, Mark Pro, Robert, John K. Ingabo, Kasasa, Nelly Slana Community on other board, and everyone who reached out in any way. We are very grateful for all your support. Your support has made more than anything to us. We can't express it in words. We thank you for standing by us and we, as we navigate through this difficult grief. Thank you so much. Sarakara was born on the 26th of uh, 1994. But from that day forward, he was the source of life to our family and, and the love in our lives. He was not just a brother. He was our best friend, a confidant, and a pillar of strength to all of us. He was the youngest of all among the staff us all, but the smile he could give you, the heart, he filled us with love for the entire family. And anyone who was fortunate enough to know Sebaka with his dimple than the smile, he was so impetuous. And he always wanted to give everyone. He was kind. Loving, was a sweet man. Whether it was a late night phone call, as soon as he sees you on Facebook, he will always say, Sis, but you will And he will start chatting and tell you all what is happening to him. And he was so lovely. To his family, to our family, he was always present, he was always caring, always making sure that everyone was okay. He will tell you, we have sisters in America, he will tell you what's happening there in Uganda, everyone, she knew everything happened to everyone because it was such a loving guy. His kindness extended beyond family. To his friends, thank you so much for being there for, for us and that devoted companion we had with him. He could, we could not even Imagine any other better way to thank you but to say thank you so much. 
for all your support. My brother was the man who lived with integrity, grace, and compassion. He touched so many lives with his kindness, and the impact he made on this world will never be forgotten. Though he has left us far too soon, the love he gave will continue to live in all of our hearts. As we say our final goodbye, let us remember him for the wonderful person he was. He was a loving brother, a loving dad, a caring friend, a gentle soul, who brought so much good into the world. And let us find strength in the love and support that surrounds us, knowing that we are not alone in our grief. Thank you again to everyone who has been there for us. Your kindness has been a light in the dark. And thank you so much. And we are eternally grateful. Thank you. We shall now bring our flowers. We come for my sister Stella, Mrs. Dennis Chikoyo. A tribute to my uncle, Frank Sebaka. It is with a heavy heart that I share this tribute to my dear uncle, Frank Sebaka. His sudden passing has left us all grasping with the reality of a life taken too soon. A life that has meant so much to so many. Uncle Frank was more than just an uncle to me. He was like an older brother. Growing up, we spent much of our childhood together under the loving care of our grandparents, his parents, and my mum's parents. We were close in age, shared some friends, and made memories during those early years that I will forever treasure. Even as kids, I always knew that he was looking out for me in his own quiet way, and I'm deeply grateful for having him in my life. His passing has shaken us all and left a void that words can hardly describe. As we struggle to accept this sudden loss, I hold on to the belief that Uncle Frank is now at peace in the loving arms of the Lord. The, the Bible tells us that the dust returns to earth as it was, and the spirit returns to God who gave it. In this time of grief, I pray that God's comfort surrounds each of us, even as we feel the weight of our sorrow. Though we are deeply saddened by his absence, Uncle Frank's legacy of kindness, laughter, and a gentle spirit will live on in our hearts forever. We celebrate his life today and cherish the memories he leaves behind. Rest in peace, Uncle. And see we meet again. Uncle, the poem to my uncle, because I know he's in heaven. As the sun sets upon the life and your body is laid to rest, I know you will be up in heaven. Because God only takes the best. I know you are watching over us, and it takes away the pain. I will carry you in my heart until when we meet again. My world is a little darker now that we are back, but the memories are shining brightly within this broken heart. You touch the lives of those who love, and we wanted you to stay, but you were needed up in heaven. And God whispered, come this way. I know whenever I am lonely and I smile, smile becomes a frown. I will look up in the sky, and there will be an angel looking down.
in my corner. It's in the heavy heart. That I witnessed as my brother. I call him my brother because I grew up with him. My sister here, Rose, remembers all the life he had as children. I think he had about seven, eight brothers from Sekote, Sekala, Asiri, all the boys we used to call them boys in the hood. We grew up together with Mama and Tati. We all the love and I remember when he was born, I remember him, he was yesterday. We used to call him Fogor. Because the first time was just what his name was, instead of saying seven times, which was his child name, he said Fogor. So we all grew up calling him. There are some uh, now old men that used to be young boys, like the fathers now, who grew up with him and who played football. And there was a, a love of football and sports. One thing I remember about him, I don't ever remember him being angry about anything. I don't know, but correct me if I'm wrong. He was always smiling. He always carried a smile, always. He always greeted everybody hungry, respectfully. I don't remember him getting into any form of motivation. Even as a child, he was my brother. Because I, so my, my, our homes are next to each other. My dad just passed in April this year. And my sister was there, my sister. The sisters were also with me, grieving. And now it's so sad that we grieve and let the brother go. And I want to thank everybody who contributed in any way, shape, or form to the learning of this wonderful gentleman. When we grow up, we need our parents, we come to this world, and we have friends, and sisters, the love to come to quantify it. Only God knows what is in everyone's heart. And one thing I know for sure. Everyone in this room, and even those who are not married, can have contributed so, so tremendously to the well being of this gentleman, Frank. And on behalf of the people at home who said they are love and they are waiting, that they send their love for the loss, the loss of their brother, the boys, and the people. And I want to thank you for all for your contribution. For the life of Frank. And we thank God for his life and the children and the nephews and the friends for the loss you have. The Lord will watch for you and we pray for comfort for my sister and our sisters and our children and everybody. In the name of the Father and Son of the Spirit.
no way to take the leave of our brother. And after this short prayer, I will request Mr. Mbwanya to lead us carrying the cross. I will follow and Frank's body will follow. Then the family of the deceased will follow and the rest of us will follow. God of the eternal covenant brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, will now make you perfect in every good work, working with you that which is pleasing and good through Christ our Lord, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. I shall now request the choir to lead us. In the final hymn.
ci să ajung.